Hi everyone, welcome to the Free Range Diva. Today I've got a favorites video for you. I've got makeup and skincare and lifestyle. I've, I've even got a fail. So um, without any more discussion, let's just jump right into it. The first thing that we're going to start with are fragrances. Two uh, from my favorite fragrance company, Dossier. They make fragrances that are inspired by more cult and designer fragrances. And every month I'm going to be bringing you two that I love for that month. And this month I have two that I have become obsessed with. I've done a separate video on Dossier and I will link it uh, over here and below in the uh, description bar so that you can watch that if you haven't already. They are a fragrance company that makes uh, very clean, natural, formulated fragrances, but they also make really well-crafted and um, beautiful fragrances. So I've got two. When they reached out to me and asked if I wanted to participate in this two fragrance a month deal for the summer, I uh, said, yeah. And uh, the first two that I selected, I went straight for the goods. I wanted to try their inspired by Maison Francis Kirk John Baccarat Rouge 540. Yes, the extremely expensive $300 per bottle fragrance uh, that has been taking social media by storm for the last year or so. Let's get to Dossier. So I picked up the Amber, Ambery Saffron. This is there uh, inspired by the Baccarat Rouge. And I made a pill, oh God, I'm wearing this today. I have become obsessed with this fragrance. So I made a pilgrimage to Nordstrom Del Amo to sample the original, the Baccarat Rouge, and I found comparing them is that the Ambery Saffron is right on it. It is so similar that, um, I mean, that if there are any differences, they're really, really subtle. Probably only the expert perfume, perfumery nose would notice, but for me, it smells exactly like it. When I spray this, I find it to be very fruity and sweet, woodsy with a little bit of smoke. It, it is very uh, blended in the dry down so that you don't get like one particular note jumping to the front. It just smells like a gourmet meal. <laughs> the, the top notes here are saffron and orange blossom. The middle notes are jasmine, plum, and cedarwood, and the base are oak moss, fir balsam, and amber. It is warm, it is soft, it smells expensive, and uh, at $300 a bottle, I, there's no way I'm gonna do that. <laughs> so for me, this one, which is uh, $49 for this generous 1.7 ounce supply, I can't, I, I mean, I want to wear this every day, except <laughs> the only thing stopping me from wearing it every day is this one. This is the Floral Lavender. This is inspired by the YSL Libre. Again, I went to the perfume counter to sample the Libre. It smells exactly like it, exactly. If you love the Libre Eau de Toilette, but you don't like the price tag, you will love this. This one, I believe, is $29. Is $29. The top notes here are Mandarin, Neroli, and Black Currant. Uh, the middle notes, Jasmine, Lavender, and Orange Blossom. And the base notes, Vanilla, Amber, and Musk. This is a very, very fresh floral. It's very feminine but the warmth from the jasmine and the vanilla just, it, it just makes this, as the day goes on, now this will stay on all day and into the night. The uh, ambery saffron, all day, but by the nighttime, you're going to, it's going to be fading. But this will be with you forever. The one, the funny, the one note that I really don't get from here is the lavender, because the, I guess because it's so blended with all the other floral, notes, but I love this as well. On the website, it says that this has free sensuality, and I, I kind of agree with that. It is a very sensual fragrance, the, whereas the ambery saffron is more uh, grown up, grown woman, but a very feminine grown woman. For more about Dossier, I will, again, I will link my other uh, video 
but uh, just know that it is a great company if you love fragrances give them a try there's a 10% off coupon down below and if you get on their email list you'll be notified of any sales that they have as well I'm gonna try and talk really fast because I got quite a few as I look I'm looking at my box over here all right makeup favorites so uh, I recently got a mini sample box from Elia and of the four products in there there is only one that I would consider buying full size and that is this one as you'll notice I'm not wearing any lipstick uh, because I want to put this on for you so hang on one second actually I wasn't wearing lipstick because I forgot to put it on <laughs> Anyway, I just laid down a thin layer of what I love. This is, uh, let me tell you what this is. This is the um, Balmy Gloss from Elia. The color here is called Only You. And this is, it's a beautiful pink gloss. Let me swatch it for you. And what the reason that I love this is A, it's not sticky. B, it feels more like a lip oil. There you have the color. And it enhances whatever uh, color I put it on. Whatever color I, I lay this down over, whether it is um, a, a lip pencil or another lip product like what I have on today. While editing, I realized I didn't tell you what lipstick I put on underneath the gloss, and it was this uh, City Lips Matte in Pink Taupe. So it's a brown, definitely a brownie pink. Um, I've had lunch put another layer of the Ilia balm over it and this is what it looks like after lunch. It just makes it look better. I have used like a deep, like a, like a, uh, what do you call it? Like a burgundy lip pencil. I've used a pink, I've used a terracotta pencil and it just looks good. So It gives you a natural shine. And for me, it is definitely a my lips but better shade. I just love it, love this product. Uh, from, from Elia Beauty, by the way, their balmy gloss. Now, because this is more of an uh, um, oil formula, it moves around a little bit and it's probably not gonna last you all day, but it's very easy to throw something this small into your purse or wherever and then just reapply it. It's so worth it. Also in that little kit was the Elia Mascara, which is what this is. Uh, I have to have a Mia Culpa moment uh, for this product because I've tried this product before and I hated it. It, I, it didn't do anything for my... Now, it may have been that that particular one that I got had, was old or something because it was in a, a sample package from Sephora. But uh, it didn't do much for my eyelashes. Maybe it made them just, you know, darken them up a little bit. Uh, and it was impossible to get this off. And so I finally just threw the thing out. No, but what I realized is that had I gone to the website and read the instructions for how to remove it, it comes off easily with water. So uh, I did, I have tried this now again. I'm wearing it today. It does give your, especially uh, it's been open for about a week and I'm seeing that it's giving my lashes more length. Hopefully uh, you can see it does you know, give you the length, which is what this is. This is a lengthening mascara, and uh, I like it. I will definitely use this up and not throw it away. <laughs> okay, quickly, the e.l.f., because this is not a new product to you guys, although it was to me. This is the e.l.f. Camo Concealer. I can't tell you how many ways I have used this, and it doesn't fail me. It, I love it, whether I apply it with a sponge or with a brush, whether I use it around the eyes, or around the mouth, it doesn't move into lines. I've never had to set it because, you know, at my age, when you start adding a lot of powder, it's going to uh, enhance those lines and wrinkles on the face. So uh, I appreciate that I can put this under the eyes and I don't need to, let, to set it at all. I use it above on my eyelid to cancel out the darkness up there. Uh, and I've also I also use it anywhere around on the face that anything that I want to cover like whether it's around the mouth or if I've got a, like a breakout or something weird happening. This has been just 
amazing, amazing product. So they make the hydrating camo concealer, which I can't use because it has corn. This does not. Yay. And uh, this works really, really well. And I just do my regular skincare. I don't have to like lay down any kind of drenching product under the eyes or anything like that. It's just, it's just really, really good. <laughs> Fail. I want to try, I wanted to try um, this CoverGirl Lash, it's the, the Lash Blast Clean formula because they're working to make clean up their, some of the nastier ingredients that can be in makeup products and I appreciate that. This, however, is a volumizing mascara and uh, I found that it did nothing for my lashes except make them look stubby and short. <laughs> uh, it, it just, it, I've tried it. It yes, they look thick, but they look short and stubby and thick. So this didn't work for me, but there are some bloggers and and YouTubers that like it, but it just did not work for me at all. Skincare. This is from City Beauty. This is their multi-action sculpting cream. This uh, I have been using on my neck. Now I've been doing a lot of stuff to my neck. I've been derma rolling. I've been gua sha I've been face yoging. I'm just like, but, <laughs> oh and yeah, and serums up the wazoo. But I have also incorporated this as my last step and I like it. It definitely gives you a lot of hydration. I am starting to see uh, improvement in the turkey neck little area under here because of all the other stuff along with this that I'm using. I want to make sure that you understand that I'm not just using this. Yeah, it comes with the little, you know, little scoop so you don't have to stick your hands in it. It's a white cream, has a very faint sort of, I don't know, kind of nothing fragrance. Maybe a little bit of vanilla-ish in there. I don't know. But this has been a beautiful product for me, for me, simply because I love, I look forward to putting this on. It feels good going into the skin. It uh, absorbs really quickly and it definitely will lock in any kind of treatment product that you've put on it. So City Beauty, you knocked it out of the park with this one. Uh, after I've used it, I've been using it about three weeks. After I've used it for, you know, a couple of months, I will then probably do some sort of a neck video where I talk about everything that I'm doing. Uh, it, it's, it's a lot. Oh yeah, I forgot the patches. Yeah, the silicone patches, I'm doing those too. Last video, I talked about the Eyelet Denude Cleanser, so I'm not going to go on except to say that I've been using it consistently to remove makeup and uh, I love it. It is just a, a beautiful, because I've used a lot of oil cleansers that are uh, that say that they rinse off, you know, that they emulsify and rinse off, and they don't. Uh, this one absolutely does. So um, it's a beautiful product. I'll link that video where I go into it if you missed it. Uh, but uh, yeah, I really, really like uh, the eyelet. And then the other cleanser that I've been obsessing over is uh, in the morning, I've been using this cleansing milk from Juice Beauty. This has a very uh, fresh sort of fr fruity scent to it. It's the same scent if you've used any of Juice Beauty's products. Uh, you know, it smells kind of like oranges. But what's so cool about this is it is a creamy cleanser. But when you add water, to, you put it on the face, you know, with wet hands or whatever. And then as you add more water to it, it starts to give you just a teensy bit of foaming action that removes everything. It removes makeup. Yes, I've used it to, to try it. I've tried it uh, to use makeup. It removes dirt, uh, you know, anything in your pores. That, and it doesn't leave any kind of film on the skin after you rinse it off. It rinses clean. That's really important to me because I have sensitive skin. So I've been really enjoying. This is the first cream-like cleanser that I have used that I really, really like. So you get the benefits of it doesn't strip or dry, but it also really, really cleans. And then from Evan Healy, this is their Blue Cactus Cooling Balm. This I keep by my bedside. It uh, has blue tansy in it. It's got a lot of um, butters and oils in here. I know there's shea butter. And 
it goes on the skin. It uh, what the way I like to use it is it, um, if I've put anything on my skin that's over exfoliated and my cheeks especially are starting to feel kind of raw, this is what I put on. I keep it by my bedside because in the morning if I wake up and I'm kind of dry anywhere, like maybe around the eyes or around here or around the mouth, I will put this on first thing. It is all organic, it's US certified organic, and uh, it just it's it's very cool. It says that it's a cooling balm, and it is very cooling. And what it does is it calms down redness, basically, and irritation. And so, and it also gives you a nice layer of that moisturizing oil. Uh, it does it does it sinks into the skin. It doesn't just sit on top. And uh, I have been thoroughly thoroughly enjoying this. So if you haven't seen this, or you can get Evan Healy's products at grocery stores. Uh, as well, you know, online as well in, as bricks and mortars. And their products are kind of used, th their products use a lot of essential oils, basically steam dis dis distilled plant botanicals. Beautiful product, uh, works really well. Body care. You guys know that I like oils and I picked this up at the grocery store. This is from Desert Essence. This is their jojoba and sunflower body oil. It's just a very straight oil formulation. Nothing, you know, exciting. It's, but it's moisturizing. It comes in a spray pump like so. There you can see. I use this on my legs right out of the shower. I use this all over, actually all over my body right out of the shower uh, so that I like to put my oils on while my skin is still pretty much wet so that they kind of emulsify into a lotion and then spread around and hydrate you really well. Uh, this is very affordable. It's just a really basic product that if you want to get into oils, especially in the summertime because this does, you know, leave your skin with a really nice sheen. This is a good one. Desert Essence. Jojoba is one of my favorite oils to use on the body, by the way, as is sunflower oil. So jojoba is, uh, the, has the closest fatty acid profile to the skin and sunflower oil is loaded with vitamin E. So it's a win-win and a really great oil. Okay. Uh, <laughs> fashion. Let's back up a little bit. So for the last month, it has been uh, in the 60s, mid 60s, low 60s. It's been cool around here. And so for the month of April, I was wearing this particular sweater two to three times a week because it's lightweight. It is a loose weave, so it's not too hot. It is a perfect layering le uh, um, sweater, whether you wear it buttoned up or not or open, but it's the color. It's the mint, because it's this beautiful mint green springy happy color that uh, I have been loving. So let me stand up so you, a little bit so you can see it a little better. So it's very drapey and soft and just, you know, it's just perfect. Like I said, I've been wearing, I wear it with jeans and, ugh, and uh, leggings because it's long enough. It looks good with blue, black, gray, cream, any, everything. <laughs> Green, of course, dark green, of course. Uh, but yeah, this came from Amazon. I'll link it below. I'm wearing a small, so it's oversized. I think I'm wearing a small. I'll double check that, but I'm pretty sure it's a small. So it is oversized and it comes in a boatload of colors. I just kind of went nuts for this mint green one. Next, fashion, light wash jeans. Uh, I have been looking everywhere for a straight legged light wash denim. Uh, that, you know, is that, that fits me. I definitely, I have a size six waist and a size four hip. So usually if I get, when I get something that's, that fits me in the waist, it's bagging in the hips. And so I am, I found, uh, I got an email from Express last month. They were having a big 50 plus percent off sale. So I picked these up. I've never owned a pair of Express jeans before. I love these freaking jeans. They fit me. I will show you. I will show you exactly what I'm talking about. They uh, give me just enough room in the waist so that they're comfortable, but they're shapely. They have a lot of stretch. Uh, and, and this material is a medium weight, 
but it's really, really soft. These are the softest jeans. Remember pajama jeans? Wasn't that what, what they were? Je jean, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, <laughs> well, they're not quite that, but the, this denim is so soft. The color is perfect, perfect light wash. And uh, I got these, I stole these. They, uh, so I will link, I will link them to the Express site. Get on their email list. Wait, today actually they're having a, a big sale on, but by the time this video goes up, that I'm sure that'll be over. But uh, yeah, so you're notified of sales. And um, you know, if you if you have any experience, if you know, if you feel me with this struggle to get jeans that fit, put a comment down below. Cause I, I actually, it's funny, I ordered this and I ordered another pair from another retailer at the same day, on the same day. And uh, these, these were the winner, hands down. They fit so good. So thank you, Express. So to celebrate the fact that I had my eyes checked and my uh, eye doctor said that, my, uh, that I am perfect, uh, <laughs> and uh, he got, I got new contacts, and these are really, really comfortable. They're in right now. And so to celebrate that, I wanted some new sunglasses. So, uh, of course, I went to Amazon, and of course, I picked out the classic Aviator. Mm -hmm. These have uh, polarizing lenses. They've got the UV filter. They're really, really lightweight on the face. And this particular style is, is for small people with smaller faces, so they don't overpower me at, or you if you have a smaller face and what shocked the heck out of me when i've opened these up is what this arm is really thick and substantial and solid it's not these glasses are not flimsy at all and considering the price that i paid for them uh i'm i'm just like i can't believe it i don't know how they did it but Must have new sunnies for uh, the summer. And uh, the first day I got them, I went to the beach. And it was so cool because there was no glare on the water. Um, even though the sun was behind me, uh, I could see everything perfectly. So um, I'll link them. Amazon, you did it again. They come in a, um, they come with a cleaning cloth. And the Glymore is the name of the company. And they come in this little bag. Uh, they don't come with a a case but I've got like a ton of these eyeglass cases sitting around so finally I get to use put put one to good use and we're good to go reuse no waste so I don't know if you call this skincare lifestyle so I'm doing it now uh, I ordered I need I wanted a new gua sha stone and so I ordered one from herbivore this is rose quartz I have been rededicating myself to doing gua sha and I'll talk more about that in another video, but I wanted a new stone. The one that I had before was ceramic and it's kind of thick. This is really, really thin. It's very, very precise. It's a pleasure to use in the hand and I look forward to doing it. And that's the important thing. If you're going to do something like gua sha, you want to do it consistently and so this allows me to do that uh, and you know it feels really good moving it across the skin there's one television show that I want to tell you about you're probably gonna have to stream it someplace but it's Stanley Tucci's searching for Italy it I think it's six episodes and it tackles it goes uh, to Italy by regions and looks at each region through the people and through the food, the local food. If you, like me, are obsessed with food porn, oh my God. Uh, travel porn, I mean, the, the cinematography is gorgeous. There's great information about the history of, of food, the local food, as well as recipes. And like I said, you could just, the, uh, 
I can't even talk. It's just, the, uh, beware afterwards, you're gonna wanna try and make some kind of pasta. Check your local streaming services. If you can find Searching for Italy by Stanley Tucci, watch it. I think you will love it as much as I did. Couple, two lifestyles and, and then I'm done. From Amazon, this is a little, I actually got this for my mother and, and then I keep like taking it from her <laughs> and using it. It's a little tablet stand. They call this the pillow pad. You put your tablet on there and it can sit on your lap in front of you and so you can just sit and watch whatever it is on your tablet like so and be hands free. But what's cool about this is that each, as you see from the side, each, here, I'll hold it this way. There's also a little holder here for your phone. Each side gives you a different angle. So this, see there, like that. And then you can turn it again and get a different angle on it. This, uh, comes in a lot of different colors. This cover is removable and washable. The only thing I need to, uh, if you're interested in getting this, I love this. I think I may have to have just my own, but if you get this, be aware that when it comes, it comes all rolled up into a tight little ball and kind of a canister. As you pull it out, it's very misshapen. So what you want to do, and they give instructions on a little card that comes with it, but what you want to do with this is throw it in your dryer on low with a damp cloth like a like a face cloth or something for about 10 minutes when it comes out it comes out looking just like this so um this pillow pad i will link it i love it i think you will too if you it's just it's just really really fun my mother uses it for her sunday morning zoom services her church is still having services on uh online so now she can she doesn't have to like sit there and hold it and watch it like this she can just use that Last but not least, only I would get like excited about a spatula set. But honestly, okay, the, what I have a Vitamix. I make smoothies probably five times a week. And cleaning the thing out, getting all the, the in, you know, like the smoothies out and all the ingredients out is, a, is really a chore. So what this allows me to do is to scrape down the sides of that very oddly shapen uh, carafe of the Vitamix. This has one, two, three, four, five. There's actually two more uh, that are in my bathroom right now. You've got this that I used in the Vitamix. You've got this smaller size that I also use to make sure that to scrape out every single thing in there. Um, I've used this already in, uh, what did I make? What did I make the other day? Oh, I made, the other day, I made papaya lemon bars. Only, th they were not lemon, they were papaya bars instead of lemon. Awesome. But I used this to scrape everything out of the bowl. This is great. These are great for getting down into jars, like those pesky mustard and mayonnaise jars to get everything out. And then I have two like this, but they're on a smaller handle that you can, they're my bathroom that I use to scrape everything out of like uh, skincare jars, you know, lotions and stuff. I was watching America's Test Kitchen the other day and it was a ba they were baking something and didn't they pull out just this? I don't know if it was the same company, but the, but they definitely had this black silicone. These are silicone, by the way, spatulas. And they're not too, I have a silicone spatula that is really flimsy. It's too flabby. These have a good, uh, they're, they're stiff enough but they, are, they still are pliable, but they're stiff enough to get everything out. But yeah, I saw them on America's Test Kitchen. I don't know if it was the same brand, but they definitely are into the silicone spatulas, and there's a good reason why. They really get everything up. And your batter or smoothie or whatever tends to cling to the outside, so it doesn't, you know, it's not like you're scraping it up and then it falls off before you can get it out. You scrape it up, it stays there, and then you can dump it out. Life changing yeah if you're ever wondering what to, if you've got like a big old papaya we get these big mexican papayas and you don't know what to do with it papaya bars so good okay everybody that's it thank you <laughs> if you're still here thank you thank you thank you so much i hope you enjoyed everything that i showed you today 
If you did, uh, please give the video a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, I would love it if you subscribed. And um, I guess that's going to do it until I see you in my next video. So until I see you then, I'm wishing you a wonderful day, wonderful week. Take good care of yourselves, and I'll talk to you again really, really soon. Bye!